Hey guys, it's Emma and today I'm going to be doing my January wrap up video. I read 10 books in the month of January which is kind of unheard of for me so I'm pretty proud and excited to be showing you guys what I read so let's just get right on into the wrap up. The first book that I read is The Land of Stories Wishing Spell by Chris Colfer. I gave this book five stars and it was really cute. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue the series just because there are other things that I want to read first, but if you're a sucker for fairy tales like I am, you will love this book. Continuing with my middle grade theme, the next book that I read is Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard, book two, The Hammer of Thor. This book is by Rick Riordan. I gave this book five stars and I absolutely loved it. I love the diverse elements in it and it is just an all around great series. The next book that I read is City Love by Suzanne Colastanti. Sorry if I said that last name wrong. I gave this book three stars and honestly I felt kind of neutral about it. This was a cute, short, sweet romance. I read it in winter, but I think it would be even better in summer. Um, my only problem with this book was the end. It had this huge plot twist, and then she left you hanging off a cliff. Not literally, figuratively. Figuratively hanging off a cliff. There was a cliffhanger. Um, this is a series, so you can pick up the next book, but I felt so neutral about the first book. I don't know if I want to pick up the next book. The next book that I read is All Fall Down by Allie Carter. I gave this book three stars and for me personally I feel like this book just went around in a whole bunch of circles and never really got anywhere. Um, the ending I felt very confused and I feel like it just stopped at the end. There was no kind of wrap up. It just abruptly stopped. Um, I've heard great things about this series so I do want to continue reading it and kind of see if I can get into it more. I'm just not sure at the moment when I will try to read the next book since I didn't really enjoy this one as much as I thought I would. The next book that I read is Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco. Sorry if I said that last name wrong. I give this book five stars. It was absolutely amazing. It might be one of my new favorite books. Um, I loved it so much. It has a creepy element in it mixed with that Sherlock Holmes kind of vibe. I love this book. I've never read anything like it before and I need the second one right now. If you guys haven't read this book, you need to go pick it up. I can talk about it all day long, so if you want a review on it, let me know. But please go read this book because it is amazing. The next book that I read is Prisoner of Night and Fog by Anne Blankman. I gave this book two stars. Unfortunately, because I really wanted to like this book, the plot idea was really unique and I was really excited to read it. But while I was reading it, I did not really like the main character at all. Honestly, I found her kind of whiny and annoying, and that was my problem with the book. I didn't connect with the main character, so I honestly didn't really care what had happened to her at the end. So I was just kind of over it. So sadly, this was a two-star book for me. The next book that I read is Riverkeep by Martin Stewart. Sadly, I gave this book one star. I love the cover of this book and I really wish that I had loved the book as much as I love this cover. Um, this book was really descriptive in scenery and honestly my brain just took in the scenery and it didn't take in the plot so when I read it I really didn't get much out of it. The next book that I read is Across the Universe by Beth Revis and I gave this book four stars. I absolutely loved it. It was really cute and the idea was really interesting. Um, I'm not sure though if I'm going to continue the rest of the series. The first book kind of wrapped it up to a good enough point for me. I'm sure I will read the other two at some point. Just right now, I have too much on my TBR. The next book that I read is Glass Sword by Victoria Aveyard. I gave this book four stars. It was so good. Um, I felt like in some places, though, it was a little bit long and it kind of repeated itself. But overall, I loved this book. The ending... It gutted me. The ending was so good. I cannot wait for the next book. Luckily, it comes out next week, I believe, so I won't have to wait too long, but I need it right now. It is so good. I did a review video for the first book in the series, so if you want to see that, I'll post a link to that down below. The last book that I read is Cruel Crown by Victoria Aveyard. This book has two novellas in it from the Red Queen series. Um, I gave this book collectively four stars. But in it, the first novella is The Queen's Song. I gave it five stars. I loved this novella. It made me really want a prequel to the Red Queen series. So Victoria, if you're watching, can we please get a prequel? Because I loved this novella so much. The second novella in it was Steel Scars. I gave that one three stars. I liked the backstory, but it wasn't my favorite. And at some parts, I kind of found it kind of boring, but I did enjoy it. 
So that is all that I had for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a big ol' thumbs up. As always, all of my social media is down below in the description bar, so check that out when you're done here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!